What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with my second video in the series of K-pop album packaging. The first one was on the worst packaging in my collection, so if you haven't watched that one, go and watch that one first and then come back here for this second video which is about the best K-pop packaging in my opinion. Again, a little disclaimer here, I am a massive multi-stan, I have hundreds of different albums, I love all groups of all different types, so no hate on any of these groups, it's just the packaging, and that is the entertainment companies as we know, and they are the enemy of us all. So stay tuned to see my best K-pop album packaging. The first category is food related album packaging. So the first one I've got here is Zyka's House of Tricky album. I don't know if you can guess what this looks like. Can you guess? It's pizza. Yay, it's a pizza box. Yum. When I first saw this, I was like, F yeah, because, oh, I already said F in the first 10 minutes of the video. That's okay. When I first saw this, I thought, oh my God, hell yeah, pizza, pizza box. Let's get it. And when you open it up, it kind of, continues that pizza theme, which I think is great. Bring it down here so we can have a look. Which one's cooler? Maybe the red one's cooler. Let's open the red one. So you can see on the side here, it's got all the different members' names. And I feel like that's sort of like the toppings on a pizza. So you can tick off what toppings you want, but it's the members' names, which I think is pretty cute. Do you think it's okay to say you can tick off what toppings you want when you're talking about <laughs> I mean, so you open it up and then you've got this like nice paper in here, which, you know, gives those pizza vibes. There's a lot of like paper in here, which I kind of enjoy. I'm going to say something negative about this now because I'm looking at it. <laughs> it's supposed to be the best album packaging. But if you've watched um, the last video, you know that I don't like it when you have to like slice things open. And I did have to slice this open to get out the little... Uh, the little cards here. But yeah, I just think it's super cute. It gives that kind of diner feel. All this checkerboard pattern is real diner, I feel like. I just think it's cool, like it's unique. This group hasn't been around for very long, so it's really cool when these smaller groups get to do a big concept like this. I feel like the CD case kind of looks like a menu, but I think they could have made it look a little bit more like a menu. That would have been super cool, kind of random. Just like pictures of suns. <laughs> wow, that looks really great in the camera. Just blind everyone. Oh my All right, so I think we're gonna open up the white version now. Again, members' names on the side, but this time in white. It would be pretty cool if they had like pizza scent. <laughs> Wouldn't that be sick? You open it up and it just smells like a fresh pizza. I don't know how they do that. Surely there's the technology, right? Yeah, but then you gotta worry about how long does it smell like that? And it starts, the album just starts smelling like shit. Yeah. You know like those old magazines where they had the perfume samples but it was just a piece of paper with the perfume smelled on it? Smelled on it? Sprayed on it. They've had those in albums before. You could scent this paper. Surely. All right, anyway, let's get into our little pizza box. Uh, so yeah, similar little paper pouch here. It's kind of that material of that those really shitty napkins you get at diners. Do you know what I mean? It's just like... That's not going to absorb anything, but they give it to you and expect you to use it to wipe off grease. Oh yeah, it's like greaseproof paper. Like pizza gre greaseproof paper. Maybe that's what it is. Are these cards the same? Yeah, they're the same. There's also these little flick books, which are pretty cute. I don't know if it'll read on camera, actually. Let's try. <laughs> no, looks like that shit. <laughs> Let's have a look at this poster. You. I love Psychers. The baby brothers of 80s. Gotta love them. Even though this is such a, a small company, just the fact that they got to have this really cool concept I think is great. It also came with fridge magnets, which are on our fridge. I really like it when albums come with those like extra little inclusions that you can put up in your house. So not everything's just sitting in a box on your shelf. So that was Zyka's House of Tricky, our first food related album packaging. The pizza box where you can choose your own member topping. Another food related box packaging. And this one, can you guess what this one is? Chocolate. Chocolate. Max or Changmin from TVXQ, his first mini album. 
I really loved the um, the title track on this, but I also thought the packaging was just super cute being a chocolate box. It says chocolate on it because that was literally the name of the title track. It did make sense that they went with a chocolate box theme, a little bit literal, but I still think it's super cute. I feel like they've made this logo really reminiscent of a chocolate company. I don't really know how to explain why, but to me that does read like a chocolate company logo. The back doesn't really have that much to do with chocolate, but again, it's got that pretty cool logo there in the side. I mean, when you display this, it's not really gonna look like a chocolate box, is it? Which way does it go? This way. It doesn't look like a chocolate box from the side, obviously, but I guess you could display it on like a, a little stand or something so that it shows that aspect of it. Let's open the chocolate box. Hey! It must be something with this greaseproof paper that I enjoy because, yeah, second album that I've chosen in my best of and it's because of some greaseproof paper. I don't know what that says about me, but it does look like that paper that you get um, when you open up a chocolate box that protects all the chocolates, so that's pretty cool. I like to think of this as maybe like the tasting sheet, you know, that you get with all the different chocolate types. Would have been kind of cool to lean into that a bit more, but it does seem reminiscent of that to me, which is great. Inside, I think the photo card came inside the envelope, if I'm not mistaken, but it came with a little postcard as well. And then the photo book as well. Would have been cool if he was like, I don't know, topless and covered in chocolate. That would have really <laughs> leaned into the chocolate theme. But unfortunately, he is not naked, covered in chocolate. He's very close, but still looking pretty cool. This song was so good. I think it came out during like COVID lockdown here in Australia. And I just really kind of grabbed onto it. This was a pretty nice photo shoot. Love a good side profile. This could be the, the tasting the tasting page where it lists all the different types of chocolate. At least it wasn't on the bottom. Or you like lift it up to look at the, the chocolates and they all just fall out. Oh yeah, that would happen because it's not magnetic or anything. I guess that's a design flaw. But if you went to go look at your chocolates, I actually don't want to let it fall though. Should we just let it fall? No, I can't do it. So that was our second food related packaging, Max's chocolate album. So moving on from food related packaging, this is another album that looks like something else that it's not. Ooh. This is Pentagon's album, Love or Take. I was about to say and take. Love or Take. This is actually the only Pentagon album I've ever bought. And it was specifically because of the packaging. It came with three versions actually, but I only have two. As you can see, they do kind of look like um, manga, it's specifically from the BL uh, category. Boys love it. Like with the drawing style. It's actually really, really nice. So you've got all the different members here, all in this, this particular animated style. I don't actually know who drew these, but whoever did, like, fucking incredible. And this is the other version that I have. Similar style, but this one's sort of more of like a dark and sultry vibe, whereas this is like, I don't know, twink vibes? <laughs> Can I say that? Yeah, as I said, there was three versions, but I only got these two. And this one is the mild version. I don't know what that means. Romantic version. If they're on the shelf, um, yeah, it would just kind of look like books, right? The other version that they had, I think was called sporty version. And I was like, no, I don't like sports. I'm not getting that. And I think, yeah, the concept was more like men playing tennis. And I was like, mm, that sounds pretty lame. So I'll show you the back as well. There's nothing really on the back, just the track names, nothing too exciting. The other cool part about these is they're actually member versions and you can't tell by looking at it from the front, but if you open it up, there's actually two different covers for it. So I've taken the outer cover off and then underneath there's a completely different cover. Isn't that cool? And then it becomes a member version. So every member had their own inner cover, fully, you know, drawn out in the, in the same style as the other cover. But yeah, I think that that's really cool. This is actually pretty cool. I haven't seen this in an album either. They list all the different albums like sequentially. I guess that's kind of like when you see in, you know, the front of a book, it'll have, if it's a series of books, it'll have all the different titles like in that series. And then at the bottom, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see, yeah, 
2021 03 so march 21 11th mini album love or take so that's why you've got the 11 there on the side to display on your on your shelf take this outer cover and member version yeah so so cool and the back has like another sort of smaller photo that's taken from there i think it's just cropped down did we look at that on the other one yeah oh that one's just cropped and it's just like his arm or something inside it's more just like a regular kind of um photo book it did come with this pretty cool inclusion though i'm not exactly sure what this is or what you do with it but it is kind of cool and it shows you um all the different member versions there and what it will look like if you have it on your shelf which would be pretty cool for like a proper collector of pentagon i mean how many would you have to have though 24 yeah you'd have to have 24 albums just for this like comeback if you wanted to have all the members for every version. I mean, if I was a serious collector for Pentagon, I would do that. But yeah, that's kind of cool that you can see what they all look like, even if you don't have them all. It also comes with a poster, but it's not related to the um, the, anim the um, anime style um, drawing. It's just a regular photo. Maybe they had the member, the photo of the member on the front and then on the back, it had like the same picture as this, but in the drawn style, that would be kind of cool. Cause I just think it's really unique I like that the aspect of like how it looks on the shelf. Um, they've really taken time to think that through and probably paid someone, hopefully, a lot of money to draw these different versions of the members. And I just think it's really cool. And now it makes me feel like I do want the other version because it feels incomplete now that I'm looking at it. Getting shocked when you look at your own album because you're not expecting to see. Like I just picked this up and I got like jump scared by seeing <laughs> like a lenticular of the member there. I'm a big fan of albums that look cool on a shelf. Kingdom is probably the best example of this. I've been a huge fan of Kingdom since debut and I've collected all their albums. Even if I didn't want to collect them all, I probably still would. You can't miss a comeback, otherwise the picture doesn't come together. And that's just something I can't live with with my collection. It's a bit difficult because there are so many and I can't get them all in the shot properly, but you can see from the start, this one here, oh the other side <laughs> this one here is the first album that came out and then as you go through obviously first comeback second third fourth fifth sixth seventh um this one is the latest one that was actually quite recent um you can see that a picture is made so when it's sitting on your shelf it just looks awesome this first section here that's the kingdom logo this next section you've got some armor a big sword that goes throughout here, a fan and some other weaponry, and it all connects. So I just think it looks gorgeous with that silver sheen and all the colors as well, especially these, these ones at the end here. I think these colors are really, really nice. And I just love displaying them. I had to move them to a separate section um, on my shelf because I ran out of space because they just kept going and they all need to be next to each other. Otherwise the illusion is ruined. I'm gonna try and pick them up to show this camera. Hey, that works. You can see the reflection in the lights. It actually looks pretty cool. I just love that. And I think more groups should do this. Stray Kids do a similar thing. Towards the kind of middle of their albums, they had like Stray Kids, like SKZ logos, also in silver, I think, that went across um, multiple albums. But it was more just the versions in one comeback that the logo went across. This, I think, is quite unique in the fact that it goes across like multiple comebacks. So it really preys on people like me who love to have that complete collection and the added bonus of that is just really great marketing in my opinion. The next category I wanted to talk about is more of that old school packaging. A lot of the albums I've shown you are those classic photo books with the CD in the back or they're inside the box with the photo book. There has been a couple of artists that have done different things, which I think is really cool. And this one that I've got here is 20 from the artist Swan. Swan is a member of the group Purple Kiss and Purple Kiss is one of my favorite girl groups. I think they're amazing. And Swan is actually my favorite member. Her vocals are just insane. And I think she's one of the most beautiful women in K-pop. She doesn't completely fit that, you know, classic beauty standard. And for me, I think that's great and 
this album kind of leans into that as well, you know, like she's different. She's gonna do a tape. So these are actually cassette tapes. I don't know if some of you might be too young to have ever listened to music on cassette tapes, but Swan reckons you should. Full disclosure, I have not listened to the tape. <laughs> do we even have yeah. something to play the tapes? Yeah, the tape player. Okay, maybe I should try and play the tape because aren't tapes supposed to sound different from CDs? Magnetically done rather than laser done. How do they work? So it comes with two cassette um, containers, but one of them is just for photo cards and inclusions, which is kind of cool, Eric, and it keeps it separate from the tape. Um, none of that scratching of inclusions that we don't like. So I open the tape one. Look how beautiful she is, like a little fairy princess. It's all very floral. The tape has this really nice floral pattern on it too. Is it two sides? Yes. So there's two songs on side A and two songs on side B. There's actually only two songs on this mini and it's just um, a Korean version and an English version, but I just think it's super cute. And then the inside little pamphlet, it's got all the lyrics in there. The other side, just one looking so beautiful. I'm not gonna be able to get this back in now. Oh God, it's like the Victor album all over again. Yeah. yeah, all right. It's been a while since I listened to a tape, okay? Hey! Hey, look at me go. This one doesn't have those spiky bits in, so that's great. I won't uh, mess up the... Oh, no, I can't open it. There we go. There was a photo card in here, but I've taken the photo card out and that's in my, um, my binder. But yeah, just a bunch of like pretty photos of her. I love them. That's the other side. And some of them have little notes on them. So, so cute. And a little sticker. Oh my God, she's actually on this sticker. Where should I put that? Is she in the bar? Yes. <laughs> I'll open this up too. Ah! Oh my God. How good is that outfit? She's so pretty. We'll see if I can get this one back together. I think I'll be okay. What do you reckon? Dink. Perfect. Oh. Like that. Anyway, and it looks pretty on the shelf. I think that's really nice. Big swan there. Her little logo that looks like a swan. Oh, I just think it's really nice. It's a it's a unique packaging and it really fits her. And this comeback was great. I was actually in Korea at the time um, that she had a comeback, and I wanted to try and go and see her on stage, but that didn't happen unfortunately. Maybe one day I'll get to see Purple Kiss as a group. The next one I want to talk about was Hansei's solo album, Gummy Bear. He's actually from the group Victon, which if you watched the last video, that was one of our worst offenders. That's not supposed to happen. What, like, what? Hmm? What is going on here? I really like this one because it is that old school style of CD in a jewel case. Like I honestly thought that Jewel Case was like a K-pop name that they'd given this kind of packaging, but that's what it is in Western music too. And I just didn't know. So this Jewel Case is actually slightly bigger than a regular one. This was only available in like the first press of this album. So the next ones that you can probably buy now in the stores are just the normal Jewel Case. So that makes me feel like this is special. On the front, you can see these little white bears on here. That's actually on the plastic. So I don't know how they do that. Do you have any idea how they put like a pattern on like that? Cause it's rough, like you can feel it. Well, it's laser engraved, won't they? Maybe, but it's white. I'm wondering if maybe you can scrape that off, which actually wouldn't be ideal because then it would start to look real like scuffed. But I guess if you're looking after it okay and it's just on your shelf, it's not really gonna happen. Let's open it up. It actually has like a press clasp on it. So you're not just like pulling it apart. I remember, do you remember back in the day when we used to just have so many CDs and all these cases would just crack. They'd get cracks in here or in here and then they just wouldn't close properly anymore. But this one has like a little press thing that makes it easier to open, which I think is pretty cool. Open it up and you've got your 
CD on this side, obviously, a little sticker. I really like his um his logo, Du Hanse, with all these X's. I think that's really cool. And this, for some reason, has like a, it's got like a paper CD on top of it. Probably scared I'm gonna freaking tear it when I take it off. But yeah, it's got this little paper thing here. Oh, it's got the lyrics, there you go. Shows how much I actually look at my <laughs> my albums. I feel like when I'm open them, I'm surprised by what's inside. This is I haven't even had this for very long. So yeah, that sits on top of there and it's got the lyrics in there. And then your CD. And I really like the design on this CD too. This bear is super cool. Now I'm gonna break this part. That was another part of it that always broke, isn't it? This would break and then you wouldn't be able to get the CD back on. You break the CD case, the jewel case falls apart, the little dually thing in the middle that looks like a 45 holder snaps and now all of a sudden your CD just swings like this the entire time that you own that CD. The good thing about um this larger dual case is like the hinges are a bit stronger like I feel like this is just more sturdy than a normal CD case. But look at the cute bear on there. There's been a lot of reflective stuff today. Maybe I'm just like a little bird that likes shiny things. And then on this side we've got Eat. Little poster, gummy bear. Here he is. Double sided poster, two for one. Cute. This did have a photo card in it too, but again, that's in my binder. I think it was inside here because I think I would have been annoyed if it had just been like floating in here. The little photo book. This concept was so cool. The only thing about this is that I find it's quite hard to get these back in without denting everything. Especially this poster, it doesn't really go back in probably. Gotta bend it. Uh, right, I'm just gonna leave that for now. So Josh just went and did the smart thing, which was to just go and get a regular jewel case that we have in our house, um, which means I don't have to go and buy this album, but I still might. Um, so here we go, side by side. You can really see the size difference. This feels a lot more flimsy, but this, when did this come out? 1999, Woofed. Let's see if it's broken. Oh, pretty good. But yeah, it just feels overall more flimsy. I much prefer this big jewel case. This is definitely the best like jewel case um, packaging that I've seen. So next we are moving on to the godfather, the father, the lord, daddy of album packaging. Everything that Key has ever brought out is in my top packaging because he just never misses. Bad Love, so his first mini album. This came in a few different versions. I've just got one of them here. This one has that kind of old school action figure look to it. I really like, I know in my, in my worst packaging videos, I said that I hate like ones that have something where you need a hook, but this just kind of works to me and it's not just a flimsy little like plastic pouch. All of his concepts have that kind of, yeah, retro feel. And this was definitely going for like an old school horror movie vibe. Kind of got like this action movie, action figure, like character look here. And on the back, got all the different characters and the songs. I feel like this packaging actually has some aspects of things that I don't enjoy in packaging, but I think because it's key, it's just fine. Like he can do anything, but this had like a perforated thing here where you had to try and get it open to get the actual album out. And everyone was freaking out about this and struggling with it. See, I haven't even bent mine back there. I just like opened it like that and managed to pry it out. Before this video, I was trying to get this out. And in the end I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna destroy it more. So I'm just gonna leave it because I really don't wanna destroy this. I honestly think that they might try to get people to buy multiple copies just so that they can keep one sealed. Isn't that like super reminiscent of toys, like old school toys that people would collect? You don't wanna take it out of the box, right? Cause then it decreases the value. But with something like a K-pop album, you wanna open it up because the photo cards are in there and that's like the most valuable part. A little bit of a conundrum, you're like, do I wanna open it? Do I not wanna open it? Do I wanna buy two copies so I can have one sealed? Interesting way to go about packaging the album. There was also another version of this Bad Love album that came in sort of a big box and there are a few pretty cool inclusions in there. That is actually a spoiler for my next video because I wanna talk about the 
best inclusions that I've seen in K-pop albums. And Key, as well as having the best packaging, also has some of the best inclusions. So make sure you subscribe so you can see when that comes out. So moving on to the next mini album from Key, Gasoline. No! This came in a few different um, versions as well. This is the first one I wanted to show you. It's the floppy disk version. I remember saving school assignments onto a floppy disk. The most ridiculous piece of technology, to be honest. It would have been kind of cool if you could actually move this across. That's what you used to be able to do on an actual floppy disk. And you'd see like, I don't even know how floppy disk works, but they used to be like a, a film or something. It's a disk. Yeah. Oh, so the disk is behind <laughs> there. Yeah. So you'd be able to see the disk there. <laughs> But you know, I never said I was a tech junkie. I know more about K-pop than I do about tech. So I'm not doing a channel about tech. Not yet. What? The finishings of what you'd see on a, an old school floppy disk and the back as well. Oh yeah, is that the disk? <laughs> that's what turns the disk. Oh, that's what turns the disk. Yep. Well done, Josh. I mean, that's why you do all the editing and the filming and stuff. Cause I have- I don't know how floppy disk works. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so really great detailing on this. Like they've really, they've gone to the, the eighth degree eighth degree they've really gone to the ninth degree here and i'm also going to go against something that i said in the worst packaging again this one you had to slice this to open it i was terrified that i was going to ruin the entire thing um but i actually did a pretty good job here it's pretty straight just like me <laughs> so let's open it up and we'll see Oh look, a nice piece of tape that I've put there. So I've actually put a piece of washi tape there so that this stays closed. Because there is nothing to re-close that once you've sliced it open. Which actually like really pisses me off. But it's key, so it doesn't matter. Open it up and then it just kind of becomes a cardboard box. So it looks really cool from the outside. But then once you're in, it's pretty regular. Got a little lyric book, I think, here. Oh, it's just a photo book. Oh my God, look how freaking cool that outfit is. Key just slays every time. Oh yeah, you do have the lyrics there at the back. And then you've got your disc, which is not a floppy disc. It is just a uh, CD-ROM. And then that looks like a vinyl. That's kind of random. Why not? Just mix and match. Oh my gosh. Had this like mad scientist thing going for this, um, this concept. Amazing. His concepts always just slay. And stickers as well. These are cool stickers. I should use these. I need to go through all my albums and take all the stickers out because there's so many cool stickers. Where am I gonna put them? Let me know what you do with all your stickers because I literally have two drawers like stacked full of stickers from albums. I've busted out a second version for gasoline and this is the VHS version. I love it. It's even got something here. Like they've put the logo of SM Entertainment at the bottom here where they put the rating, you know, like MA15 or PG or whatever, which is kind of clever that they've done it like that. Two, key two, that's his second mini album. Old school horror movie, Frankenstein type thing. Yes, look at this. This looks exactly like what you would get on a videotape. Like this would be the description, the short description of what the film is and then some freeze frames from the movie. Seriously, this is probably one of my favorite album packagings that I have. Photo book, really thick photo book actually. Yeah, and this has more of um, that concept with the mad scientist stuff going on. So cool. Gasoline. And look, tape. That's what a tape looks like when you pause it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Slay. And then some postcards. These are great for like, yeah, a more high quality glossy finish. And then there's like a black and white version on the back. We have like a little um, pouch that has some extra photo cards in it. So they call these um, collector cards. So I guess they're kind of supposed to be like trading cards. They don't really have the same innate value as like a proper photo card because everyone has them. It is nice to have some photo cards like really showing the concepts and the different outfits and makeup and everything. And again, the CD looks like a vinyl. <laughs> so there's the two gasoline versions I wanted to show you. VHS tape and floppy disk. Obsessed. What a king. So I know I've been banging on about Key for a while, but I think when you talk album packaging, you can't not talk about him. And this is the last one. I wanted to show one of the versions for Killer, 
which was actually a repackage of the Gasoline album. Similar songs, almost the same songs, but then a couple of ones added on. This is an SM entertainment thing that they like to do, which I kind of don't agree with because it's literally just adding a couple of extra songs on and then selling another four versions of the album. But in the case of Key, um, he's gonna bring out Ace packaging, even if it's just a repackage. So this one is a video game. Looks like a video game case. Very reminiscent of, what is this blue PlayStation? They've gone for this little logo here. Again, this time it's not um, SM Entertainment. It's just killer and a K for key. And up here, limited. I like that. I really like that. It really, really looks like a video game. And yeah, obviously he's on a motorcycle. Could be a, uh, a racing game or something like that. The pink is great. It's It really pops. 14 tracks, a motorbike racing game, 14 tracks, 14 tracks on the album. I mean, it's it's little details like that that get me. There's someone's putting thought into this. You know that he's been part of the thought process behind it, which, you know, you feel more, you feel more connected to him, you feel more connected to the product and it's just great. On the back here, yeah, so you've got him like dressed up in different outfits, like it's player one, player two, player three. So you could choose what version of key you wanted to play on your little motorcycle, track list, and then yeah, screens from screenshots from the game. Him on a motorcycle. And then just um this looks like sets, you know, like different tracks um, that you could play. Hey, look how sick. So the little um photo book here is supposed to be, you know, the game. And it even has sort of like this, it looks like a video game, like a cartridge, like an old school cartridge, you know. Stage clear. I love it. I guess this is supposed to be like the manual for the game. So you'd look, you know, you'd look up in here for different, I don't know, cheat codes and things like that. And there's a little card in here. So it's a little pixelated like video game version of Key. This is what I was talking about with the Pentagon album. Like how it would be cool if they had the original photo, like of the actual idol, and then had the um like the animated version side by side. How cool is that? I honestly feel like I'm looking at these for the first time again, because that's just how interesting they are. Like every time you open them up, you find something new. And that's that's what you want. Like you want it to be exciting, not the same old thing or something that they've tried to do that just doesn't work at all. Like no one can not like this. Poster. And then even the CD looks cool. Like, look at that. See, that's the video game version of Killer. I just think it's great. It really pops. It's so unique. All of his packaging is just crazy. There's more where this came from. Like I've got um, some of the other versions and also his latest comeback, Good and Great. But I'm just never disappointed. So that's been some of my favorite K-pop album packaging that I have in my collection. Let me know if you agree with me, if you don't agree with me. If you have some favorites, I'd love to know what your favorites are. And I probably could find a lot more that I love. So if you guys want a part two to this video, I can definitely do that and look out for the inclusions video. Bye.